All right, Shalwa. It's the brother Isaiah from the GMS North Carolina camp, GMS Raleigh. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. The Barnes, the Apostles, the Great Millstone, are teaching us the one saying truth according to the Bible well. In peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, they through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Wing into a Lord's willing edifying lesson, uh, dealing with uh, the famine of the word that is coming. And with the famine of the word coming, that means the mercies of Yahweh Shemal Shai are going to be taken from the streets because what you're witnessing. With the men, the Lord, you know, how the Lord promised that he would set up pastors according to his heart to feed us with knowledge and understanding. That is the most high. He, uh, that is Yahweh, right? Who you ignorantly calls God. Uh, extending mercy, you know, to his beloved people. Who are you so, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, let's get this in Second Chronicles uh, 36. And we'll start at verse 15. And the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, God of their fathers, right? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, you see? Sent to them by his messengers. Sent to who? Sent to the nation of Israel by his messengers, who were his servants, the prophets. Those are his messengers, Rising up B times, right? Rising up B times, meaning rising up before the destruction would come, before the Lord would send forth his anger and bring plagues. See, to rise up or start early, to rise early, make an early start. So you get an early start, you know, that's why scripts say, it is high time to awake out of sleep. Something that should have been done a very... And you look up that definition for high time. Something that should have been done a very long time ago. Because when it comes to your salvation, you know, when it comes to something that is very important, scripts say uh, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. Starting early, you know, or starting on time is often too late. You got to start early. You know, as we are, uh, for a season was discontinued from our heritage, and now we're coming back to really understand what it means to be an Israelite, what it, what it truly means to be a son of God, right? And what that entails, and all the and things that are needful for us to obtain salvation. So the Lord God of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up B times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, he sent forth, you know, Yahweh Shai over 2,000 years ago, preaching, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? And uh, Yahweh Shai went on the cross to die for his people, right? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners, which are scattered abroad, the nation of Israel, who, because of a curse, would be scattered to the four corners of the earth and for the, in, in, until the times of a restitution would come, right? Until the times of when the Lord will, you know, uh, give a reward to the righteous and give a reward to the wicked, you know? During the time uh, after this time of grace, you see, when we put, when we will be put back in our land. But before that, there will be a, a, a season of preaching the gospel, a season of, you know, repenting and, and waking up. Right. And then a famine of the word will come and uh, chaos and, you know, a, a lawless land will soon follow the famine of the word and the breakdown of society. To where they're going to want to hear the word of the Lord, but they're not going to be able to find it. Verse 16, but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despise his words, right? And you look up this word mock, to tease or laugh 
and in a scornful or content contentious manner, right? To ridicule parody, right? Everyone sees us out there and they think it's a joke. Uh, they think it's of no importance, right? When they actually uh, do come up and listen to hear the words of the Lord, they despise the word, to despise, to, to disdain, hold with contempt. Let's look at this word, contempt. Con- contempt. It says, feeling our attitude of regarding someone. Um, usually uh, the act of despising. Okay. Having a general lack of respect for something. Right? Our people just basically have a general lack of respect for the men, the Lord, and their purpose out there on the highways and hedges, which is to what? To preach the gospel, which is the glad tidings, the good news that we're not always going to be the downtrodden and forsaken in society, that we have a kingdom promised to us, right? And just like anyone who has a, a business idea or because the kingdom of heaven is likened onto a business, you know, you have to do certain things to make sure that business is thriving. You have to do certain things to make sure that you're fit to be a leader, to be in a leadership position in that business, right? And that's the the, 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 the first rooster, the 144,000, the rest of the elect, they're going to be in the very privileged position. Scripture say, blessed and holy is he that taketh part in the first resurrection on whom the second death, which the nuclear destruction have no power. You see, but our people, but they mock the messengers of the Most High and despise his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. Right? So right now, the prophets of the Lord are here to, you know, bring the remedy, you know, via the preaching of the gospel, preaching of the word. You know, a word that should make men glad, you know, and inspire them. You see, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. This word should inspire you to repentance. You see? But our people, they're not inspired. They're actually disdained by seeing us out there. This is um, it's Hosea 5. In 15, I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right? So, I will go and return to my place. Speaking about Yahweh by Shema Washai, and he's waiting for our people to acknowledge their offense. Like, are you, are we, we as a nation, or we as an individual, being of the nation of Israel, has to acknowledge our offense as we have been commanded to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, right? And those who are a humble heart, right, of a contrite spirit, those are the ones, contrite meaning remorseful, those are who the Lord is going to draw near to. And when you go through your trials and tribulation, your ups and downs of being in, you know, a sinful kingdom and trying to do that which is right. You know, the Lord is going to be with you to strengthen you, to give you the strength to keep working it and moving towards the kingdom of heaven, right? Which is the salvation for our people. It says, till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. The face of the Lord is his prophets, right? We are the representatives of Yahweh Shai, we are his ambassadors down here upon the earth. So we represent our Lord and we're here to tell the nations that they're going down to, you know, to let my people go that they may serve me, right? Same thing during the time of Egypt, but our, but they refuse to let us go. And they're moving forward in this plan of the NWO. They're moving forward in this plan to make a man an offender for, for a word. You see, so since they're making, they're moving forward on these plans, now is the time to seek the Lord and cleave unto Him because He's going to be our defense when they come down with great wrath. 
you know, uh, spoiling and destroying them that fear the Lord. It says, in their affliction, and you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in your affliction during the time of trouble that we're prophesying about, warning you about a time like none other, they will seek me early. Then you're going to want to seek the Lord early. Then you're going to want to, you know, have this mind to, oh, I need to repent. I need to turn back. But it's going to be too late. Scriptures talk about Five versions that were wise and five versions that were foolish, which we'll read that. Matthews 25 and 1, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, <laughs> right? They took their vessels that, that's supposed to hold the light and took no oil with them, right? The oil being the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, you see? and But the, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps, right? So looking at it as you as the vessels that has to hold this oil and keep your light shining to the day when the bridegroom will come. Now is the time to get this word, right? Let's get this, Proverbs 4 and 7. This is Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her. Exalt wisdom. How do you exalt something? You know, um, <laughs> you seen the movie, uh, The Lion King, you, you lift it up. <laughs> so in the spirit, we're lifting up wisdom by when people see us, they see forth wisdom in our actions. They see forth wisdom in our goings. That's how we exalt wisdom. And she shall promote thee, right? So we're exalting wisdom. You know, we're promoting wisdom in our life, the wisdom of the Holy Scriptures, and she's going to promote us. She's going to exalt us in due season when the reward of the righteous shall come. When our Lord Yahweh Shai come back, but even before then, there's a, us having wisdom during the times of chaos and calamity is going to exalt us. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her, you see, she shall give to thee an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. So you get in what you put out. <laughs> uh, surely a man shall reap what he sows, right? Um, let's get this Amos 8 and 11 and just go ahead and close it out. You know, we're coming to a time where a famine is coming, a famine of the word. <clears throat> and this is why it's so important to get to get the getting while the getting is good, right? <laughs> that old saying, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. And these things are coming. But this scripture in particular is talking about it says, but of hearing the words of the Lord. This scripture in particular is hearing about hearing the words of the Lord. There's going to be a, sh the word of the Lord is going to be on short supply. You're going to have to know someone or you're going to have to be the one known with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be comforted in these times. You see? And they shall wonder. When you wonder, you're looking aimlessly. You're lost. You see, they're going to be checking uh, the internet. They're going to be searching on the YouTube channel, just like Jake spent all the times to get the illegal uh, movies and <laughs> their favorite show or waiting for the hot um, disc track to drop. You see, they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east, right? They're going to be like, dang, where are these prophets at? And you're going to have some men... Who are, uh, you know, not endowed with wisdom, you know, probably out there preaching. and But they're not going to have the 100% truth according to the Bible. You see, and the Lord, 
could easily have them take, uh, you know, something happen to those guys while they're out there. That could uh, sway your faith even more to, to, the, to the dark side. It says, they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even from the east. They shall run to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So when you're in running, you're in hot pursuit. And that's what the word uh, seek means, to pursue, to chase. So right now is the time during this time of grace to pursue, to be in hot pursuit of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shema Mashai. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Right? The thirst of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I'm going to get two more precepts and close it out. This is St. John 7 and 37. In the last day, that the great day of the feast, Yahweh Shai, that's his name in the uh, Lashawan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew, right? It says, Yahweh Shai stood... And cried, saying, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me. Right? So if you're thirsty now, if you want to, if you have a, a, a thirst for wisdom, you know, thirst for what the hell is going on in the world, you know, then tune into the videos. Right? Watch uh, the apostles and the elders and the, and the bishops, right? And the men uh, doing the news and prophecy, linking current events uh, you know, why the world is, why it is, with the Holy Scriptures, right? And be filled, be comforted. This is um Proverbs 8, and we're going to jump down to verse 32. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children. This is talking about wisdom. Hearken unto wisdom, O ye children of the Lord, right? The sons and daughters of Zion. For blessed are they that keep my ways. You're blessed, you know, uh, they have a blessed and highly favored, you know, saying in the world. But you're blessed and highly favored in the heavens. Where uh, your name, your reputation of who you are, your character, you know, that's where your, who you are really matters. Because you have a good reputation in the heavens. So you're going to have a good reputation down here upon the earth. In the sense of the Lord is going to show you favor, right? When your enemies come up against you. And they're coming, believe it or not. It says, bless this. It says, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. So the instruction that's going forth by the men of the Lord of what you need to do that's profitable in these times. That's, you know, going into the scriptures and breaking down. Uh, the, the you know the wisdom knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Washai and making it plain upon tables that you may, you know, eat and drink of this knowledge and it may be profitable unto you. Right? That's the instruction. Hear instruction and be wise. Refuse it not. Right. This is a uh, food for the soul. It says, "Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates." Right. Starting with the leadership on down, the men of the Lord who are has this duty to, to watch, right? Daily, watching daily for the salvation of the Lord. Always keeping that hope alive, always keeping that expectation that the Lord is coming back and I just need to be doing the best I can do. I need to be putting my best foot forward, keeping the law statutes to the best of my ability, having faith, showing faith in all of my actions to the best of my ability. Right, praying more, fasting more, you know, cleansing yourself from the chemicals and that this world has you hooked on the dopamine hits and the, you know, just the the folly of this world that is so uh, distracting. It says, for whoso, it says, uh, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my door, right, and you're waiting. Meaning to serve the Lord, you know, watching the prophets, watching the videos, getting edified, getting built up. It says, for the, the great day and ter uh, great and terrible day of Yah by Shema Oshai, where you're going to need, you know, the wisdom on your side to overcome. It says, for whoso findeth me findeth life 
and shall obtain favor of the Lord, right? So if you find this wisdom, you, you found life, approval, right? Support, liking for, for someone or something. It says the act of kindness beyond what is due are usual. So the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is going to show an act of kindness beyond that which we're even due. <laughs> or that which is usual, you know? The Lord's going to show forth miracles in these times to those that are seeking wisdom early. But he that hateth, I'm sorry, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, and all they that hate me love death. If you're sinning against Yah by Shema Shai, you're wronging your own soul, right? You're doing wrong unto yourself. You see, because it's your life that's on the line, right? It's your uh, responsibility. You know, you're going to be held accountable for the things that you've done down here upon the earth, right? And we we were out there, you know, I was watching the elder uh, Manasseh Zaba from South Carolina. You know, it's bike week in Myrtle Beach. And our people hear this Saturday night, they're just, they're, they're looking at the prophets and just walking right by him. You know, they're not considering, you know, a, a wise man would consider, right? And, and will increase in learning. A wise man will hear and increase in learning. But but the sin will pass on and are punished, right? So with that, you know, Lord's willing, you're edified, um, you know. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, before we go any uh, further, we'll close out giving all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakar Kodash, the Barnes, the Apostles, the Great Millstone, are teaching us, and we're saying the truth according to the Bible, and we're well, in peace and blessings, so flesh to the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.